What's up, man? This is Frank. Let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video should be used for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. It may not necessarily be factual. Don't let what I say in this video be the determining factor as to whether you should buy, sell, or hold a stock. Um, I'm just an entertainer on YouTube. Just, you know, just expressing my opinion about stocks and different things. Check this out, man. I think a good question that we need to be asking is, is the hedge funds and the short sellers using Adam Aaron and tricking diamond hand apes to kill the Moags? You see what I'm saying? Because like I said, man, in my past videos, and I firmly believe in this, Adam Aaron, none of this, none of the decisions made that Adam Aaron has made has been beneficial to the apes or the short squeeze play. None of them. You see what I'm saying? And when people, they, it's a saying, man. They say when people show you who they are, believe them. And I know people say that, man, he a 4D chess player, right? So my thing is, if he a 4D chess, a 4D chess player, you might want to make sure, man, make sure that he's just really playing chess against short sellers and hedge funds because he might be pay playing chess against retail investors. You see what I'm saying? And my thing is, if AMC as a company or Adam Aaron is doing anything to intentionally hurt retail investors or the MOAS, any type of karma, man, that they get, they deserve it all. You see what I'm saying, man? Because actually the apes and the shareholders have been good to AMC. And we the reason why they in the position that they in right now. And, you know, and I was looking at Al from Boston video. And I think, man, he made the decision. He said that I think it was his last, his last live. You know, he don't have any intentions, I think, of doing any more videos. And, my, and I kind of understand, man, where he's coming from. Because just look at this whole reverse stock split thing. Then you look at you got the Marine. He want to do a protest. He want to try to help the community, but people got a problem with that. People talking about his family, they messing with him. And all he's trying to do, man, is help the community. But people got a problem with that. If you're talking about, man, trying to get West Christian to come in and help everybody, people got a problem with that. You see what I'm saying? But somebody can come along and say, look, y'all, that ain't really not, that done nothing good as far as the short squeeze play. You know, you know, as far as the Moaz, you know, as far as helping the apes, he ain't done nothing good now. But he can come in and he can be like, look here, man, I'm going to take, I got the solution for everything. I'm going to take 90% of your, 90 percent of your shares. And everybody like, yeah, 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 silverback, yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it's almost like, man, the way it looks, it's like, man, people, man, they don't want to get paid. And, man, you know, we got people in the community like I said, it seems like as far as this, you know, reverse stock split, stock split thing, they happy, man, with us losing 90% of our shares. You see what I'm saying? Are they happy with 90% man of the synthetic shares that these criminals and that the devils got? It's just going to just, man, just gone, just washed away. And my thing is, man, look, if you want to believe that that's okay, because somebody throw a video up and they do some illustrations and they make it seem like it's acceptable, you know, for us to lose 90% of our shares. If you want to believe that, man, that's cool. But don't expect for everybody else to believe it because you believe it. And if you want to get to the point where people want to start talking about, man, who got the biggest nuts or who the best ape and who's a shield. Because people don't want to agree with the reverse split. What people can say, man, because you sitting up here, you advocating retail investors and apes losing 90% of their shares, and you probably putting us in the situation, man, to where you're going to kill the Moaz. People can say, well, you a shield. Especially, man, if we don't have the Moaz. You will end up being the biggest shield of all because you helped them kill the Moaz, whether you was trying to help them kill the Moaz or not. You see what I'm saying, man? As far as, and as far as, you know, how I feel, man, I don't think that 
It's the eight intentions of trying to kill the Moans. You know, and I don't think that they're hidden shields. I don't think that. I think, man, what's going on, I think they're giving the wrong person loyalty. I think they're giving a person, man, loyalty that has not earned that type of loyalty and he has not reciprocated that type of loyalty. That's just my opinion. And I'm not going to dismiss the probability. It's just my opinion that hedge funds or short sellers has gotten to Adam Aaron. I'm not going to dismiss that. I'm going to keep it on the table until I see otherwise. And see, our AMC short squeeze play, this play is dangerous to a lot of short sellers and a lot of hedge funds. And they'll do anything to make this thing to try. It, and I'll play, man, it's going to crush a lot of hedge funds and short sellers. You see what I'm saying? And the thing is, they don't want to see the average, like I said the other day, they don't want to see the average person, the average hardworking person become a millionaire do a stock play. Our short squeeze play, we got too many shares, we got too many people, we got too much leverage, and we got too much power. And they'll do anything they can to try to make this play go away or try to minimize the damage of the play. And they pay out. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not going to dismiss the fact that they could be using, you know, Adam Aaron as a weapon to kill the short squeeze play or kill the Moaz. So my thing is, look, man, if we don't have the Moaz before the reverse stock split, I don't think, man, we can we're gonna have a Moaz. You know, do your own research, do your own DD, come up to your own conclusion. I'm not a financial advisor, but man, if this short squeeze don't take place before we have a reverse stock split split, man, I don't think it's gonna happen. You see what I'm saying? That's just my opinion, man. And the way I look at it, if they talking about having a meeting, a reverse stock meeting, the minute they talk about having that meeting and eight run up, and I and and I can I can get my money, you know, out of this, out of this play, and it'll cover everything. I'm gonna sell eight. You see what I'm saying? It's just that simple, man. I'm gonna sell it. Because here's the thing, man. Asho, I, I think Adam Aaron, I think he knew when he dropped those ape shares, I think he already knew, man. I think he already knew he was going to do, he was going to want a reverse stock split. I think he already knew. And my thing is, why would you want to take 90% of our shares? 90%? Why would you want to take 90% of the share? So, man, in my opinion, I think he already knew, man, he was going to do that. So, like I'm saying, man, look, when this thing goes south, man, you know, and we and we don't have a Moaz like we wanted, you, you, you can't say, man, that you didn't know. And like I was saying a few minutes ago, my thing is, man, look, if we don't have a Moaz before the reverse stock split, when we get ready to talk about, man, they're going to have a meeting, an emergency meeting or whatever. And the price of eight run up. I'm getting rid of my eight. See what I'm saying? I'm going to get, I'm going to get rid of the eight, man, right before that meeting. And hopefully eight will pay for the all, pay for all the money that I got in this short, all this money I got tied up in this short squeeze play. That's what I'm going to do. You do what you're going to do. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You see what I'm saying, man? And then, after the reverse stock split, when we have our temporary run up, because that's all it's going to be, maybe we're going to have a, te a temporary run up, man. I'm going to get as much money as I can out of that temporary run up. Because here's what I feel is going to happen after the reverse stock split and we have a run up. Hedge funds, man, going to come right back. And all they're going to do is short the stock right back down. Like they shorted from $72. Man, all the way to five dollars. Cause you know why? Adam Aaron never took time out to address the real problem and what's going on. And the reason why the stock is about to be go become a penny stock, he never addressed the real problem. And that's criminal hedge funds and the illegal neck is short. So man, all they gonna do, man, after after the reverse stock split, they're gonna short these things, man, all the way down. And you know what? Them beans of synthetic shares that they get. 
90% of that will probably be gone. And the sad thing is retail going to be sitting there with 90% less shares. When they get ready to shut short, then they probably going to do it more aggressively. They're not going to stop. So after the, re the reverse stock split, Man, they're going to start attacking the stock right back then, right back down. Then retail going to be sitting there, man, with 90% less shares. Man, no, bro. I'm not going to be sitting around, man, you know, waiting for more ads and waiting for large numbers. Man, I'm not going to get caught up in that. I'm not going to be a bag holder, man. I'm not going to do that. Like I said, if this thing, man, don't happen, we don't have a more ads before that, before that, um, the reverse stock split, man, I won't be waiting around. Not me. I'm gonna get as much money as I can out of this short, out of this, out of this short squeeze play. Cause I can't really send more ass no more. I'm gonna get as much money as I can out of this short squeeze play or this run up. And I'm done. That's just me. People can wait around if they want to. You can wait around after the reverse stock split. Wait around for large numbers. You can, you can wait around, man, for more ass. Do you, do your own research, man. Come up with your own conclusion. But I can tell you this. After this reverse stock split, it's going to be a lot of people pissed off, but you know what? It's going to be too late to be pissed off. The damage is going to be done. Now, if I'm wrong, man, I'll be the first one to shoot a video. I apologize to Adam Aaron. I apologize to the community. You know, I apologize to the apes, but you know what? I don't think I'm going to have to. Thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.